Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessica. If you're new here, welcome. I am so happy to have you. I'd love you to hit that subscribe button before going and let's get started on the new foundation. So today's video is actually inspired by one of my favorite people to follow on Instagram and that is Kate at the Small Things blog. Um, a lot of the things that she recommends are things that I love and things that I wear on a daily basis. So I also wanna try some of her makeup recommendations. And one of them is this Makeup Forever HD Skin. It is actually a new foundation as well. So I wanted to try it because I heard it's medium coverage, but it has like the most beautiful finish. I also picked up in my last Sephora order another product that I've been eyeing for like a year that she's talked about she uses all the time, which is the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched um, Face Base. And I can see why this is something she uses on a daily basis. It smells really good. It's like a citrusy kind of like lemon smell, but it goes away pretty quick too. Um, it's really, really good. So if you have been sitting with this in your cart as well, because it's a little bit more pricey, you definitely need to try it. It is definitely, definitely worth it. All right, so this is what I have on my face right now. And this, the color that I got, um, I tried this the other day, sadly, it's the wrong color for me. I was looking for neutral because I'm kind of neutral to cool tones, so I got the one and 10, but I didn't realize, at least online, I didn't see the Y, which I'm guessing has like, it does have a yellow base to it, and I definitely do not have a yellow skin tint. So here is the foundation. I will show it to you. It comes in a little pump on the back of my hand, but it is, I don't know if you can tell, a little too yellow, especially when I put it on. So I've tried it with my favorite IT Cosmetics foundation brush. This is great if you want it to be more medium to high coverage. I personally like it a little bit lighter, so I have a dampened sponge, and I'm just gonna tap it on the back of my hand here, and then go ahead and apply it this way. I will tell you after wearing this foundation now, it is very, very pretty. I can see why um, she loves this foundation, but if you notice, I don't know if you can tell so much on camera, it is more of a yellow undertone and I have more, more of a pink. Um, but there's other foundations that I can wear neutral in and they look really good. This neutral is just too yellow for me. So I definitely need to send it back and get a different color. I am curious if anyone else has like the same color, um, like cool neutral undertone and more on the fair to like um, light side. If you already have this foundation, what color you have that works for you? I'd love for you to tell me down in the comments because I kept looking around online trying to figure out which one to get. And I, I hate, <laughs> I know like I try my best to match it so I don't have to return foundations. Um, this one just doesn't, the color does not look good, but the foundation itself is gorgeous. All right. When I use a brush, I will tell you I only need probably, what did I use? About two pumps, um, which is about what I'm using now. I just personally like it to look a little bit more sheer. So this is definitely more on the light to medium with the sponge. But it is known for like a medium coverage finish. But it just gives the prettiest, it has like a little bit of a natural glow to it, but it's almost like a satin matte. It's really, really pretty on the skin. And I noticed with the brush, like I said, it's a little bit heavier um, of a coverage. So if you want more coverage, go ahead and use that brush. All right, I'm trying to use natural lighting here so you can see it, but it's making my mirror on my side um, pretty dark. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish with that. And then I've been loving this cream blush by Fenty Beauty. As you can see, I've already hit the pan and I actually have another one already. It's called Petal Poppin'. I think um, Andrea Alvi, I'm probably saying that wrong, um, on her channel, she recommended this as being like a good universal color and I picked it up and I really, really like it. So I purchased a second one to have as backup because I liked it that much. And I'm just putting it on with my Bare Essentials brush. Now they're called Bare Minerals, that's how long I've had it. Um, and just tapping it in to give it a nice natural flush look. But it wears beautifully throughout the day, like it doesn't wear off, and I really, really like it. 
There you go. Gives a beautiful color. All right, and then my favorite eyeliner is still the MAC. It is the Teddy color. And I just line the upper part. It's funny, it looks a lot brighter on camera. It's actually pretty dark on my side. It's kind of making it hard to do my makeup and see it. <laughs> um, I did forget my powder. I did just order a new powder. I've noticed that the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder, which I've grown to absolutely love, um, has been out of stock on like every website in the translucent color. They have it in the, I think shade one color, but not in the translucent. And I'm really hoping that they're gonna bring it back and that that's not meaning that it's not gonna be restocked or something. Um, Cause I really, really like that product. So I ordered instead from Sephora, the Anastasia Beverly Hills translucent powder. I will tell you that it works well. I've been using it for about a week now but it doesn't give, of course, that same brightening effect. It is a little more of like a talic powder consistency compared to the Laura Mercier. Um, but one of the reasons why I ordered it was because I was watching Lisa J Makeup and she was raving about the Physician Formula, the new, um, what was it? Butter one, it's like a swirl of different colors. It's a beautiful uh, powder, but I found to me, she was saying how it blurred her pores and how she just loved the way it looked. When I put it on, I felt like my makeup was very heavy and it looked very makeup-y, like very cakey kind of um, on top of foundations. So I personally did not like it. Um, so I was trying to find something else with the Laura Mercier being out of stock. And so I was like, all right, I'll try the Anastasia Beverly Hills one. And I do like it, but definitely not as much as my Laura Mercier. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and curl my lashes. All right, and then the mascara that I ordered is one of my favorites. It's the Lancome mascara. Um, of course, since they had their sale, I had to get this because this is one of my favorite mascaras. It does such a great job staying on. It doesn't even claim this, but I remember last summer when I first tried it, um, I wore it in the pool and it did not budge. And it's not even a claim that this mascara has, but it is so, so good. So if you can ever pick up this mascara on sale, I highly recommend it. All right, and then I'm gonna go ahead and end off with the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Angel Food Cake. It's such a pretty, pretty pink. If you have a cool undertone, you'll really like the shade of pink on you. All right, so here's the final product. I really, really like the foundation. I actually really highly recommend it if you're looking for a medium coverage foundation that just gives the most natural look. Um, it's just beautiful and it has kind of like a natural sheen to it throughout the day but this color the 1n10 is definitely not a color match for me so if i find one that's a better color match i'll definitely update the description box when i do um, but i am curious if any of you have tried it if you found the color match for you if you're similar to skin tone and me um, i'd love to know but i would love for you guys to like and subscribe and i will see you in my next video bye guys